Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, another bongo video today, plenty of bongo videos going on. Um, today we are installing this from eBay, top of the range, straight from China. It is a reverse camera. So that's the plan, fit that. Basically, I want a separate monitor for the rear view mirror or camera, whatever so that I can constantly see out the back with it. Because sometimes you get in the van and the rear curtains are shut, you think, oh, I can't see anything out the back window. Get out, pull over, pull the window curtain things open so you can see out. Um, with this, I just want one facing back. There is, I'm pretty sure, I'll have to double check, um, a second input for another camera. So if there is, I'll have a look in a sec. Um, then I have one facing back, so it's like a rear view mirror and one facing down that hopefully will be triggered when the thing goes into reverse to change the, the view so it looks down rather than straight back so it's just a bit easier to park like the mirror on the back but on the screen so that's the plan let's have a look inside this box so hopefully in focus the camera's playing up a little bit but uh, that's just come out you just saw that so security TFT monitor so, whatever, finest Chinese stuff again. This was, I must say as well, £20 from eBay. So it's going to be good. Um, and I think somebody's at the door, hang on. No one at the door, I thought there was. Um, so yeah, what we've got, two power cables, uh, some screws. Uh, I'm assuming this is the monitor. Yeah, a little sticky thing there, and a shade of some sort, and some cables. What's this? Oh, that must be the camera. So there's a little camera. You go upside down, left, right, whatever. Uh, oh, and some stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever. So. Well, there you go, is the actual English or Chinglish. Okay, oh, I'm not going to read that. Um, what we got then? Big long cable. Will it reach the back of the bongo? That is the question. Because it's quite a long van. I don't know. Oh, oh no. Not done that very well, have I? Uh, what we got? Quite a few metres there. Might do, figure that out. Plus we've got a little bit of extra um, length on there as well. And a little bit extra on there too. So we'll look, see what's involved with this. So we've got three cables. One, I'm assuming is power. Yeah. And then I assume that one is for power to the camera which it is um, so that's going to need 12 volts now just hit myself in the face with a wire clip so I'm going to run that to the fuse board if you haven't watched the fuse board video yet go and have a little look it runs off the uh, leisure battery um, what I might do is just put a little switch on there so I can just turn that on with the switch as and when I want it um, and this, I don't know, I might have to run that from, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the back, maybe that little 12 volt socket thing or something, try and grab some power off that. If it needs power, I assume it needs power, or whether that's a reverse light um, like trigger thing, maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. And then, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping, that these are your two video inputs, so we can have two. Uh, different views and then these are your buttons which are obviously really well labelled just guess I suppose see what happens I might say in here actually no okay right well anyway let's go and fit it one thing I will say as well um, you can see that uh, the Google Lens app on your phone Download that, 
Um, you can like go to text search, like you can search things by pointing it at whatever it is. Uh, there you go. So it shows you things. Um, but also, if you go to the translate, you can. Um, where are you? You can point it. You probably already know this, but for someone that doesn't, it might be useful. You can point it there, look, and it goes from that Chinese writing pointed it and it changes it right in front of your eyes so if you need to work something out it's, uh, it's quite handy um, also very good in in the bongo because it does like Japanese and stuff and there's lots of uh, writing in Japanese on the bongo so yeah just thought it might help somebody out you never know it obviously automatically where are you? I've lost you it automatically detects the language and then translates it to whatever whatever language you speak it's not doing it now, there you go how cool is that? anyway onwards so here is the plan let me just move the seat back a little bit there you go so what we're going to do hopefully do I should say is let's get that out of there now I'm still not decided yet where I'm going to put the monitor because I might get a few more of these if they're good like for different angles and stuff like that maybe bongo security system or something I don't know but anyway it might not even work um, I don't know if to just put it there and get the cable behind the dash somewhere or whatever maybe over this side um, looks a bit dark there. Or do I mount it uh, somewhere high? But then I don't know if you can flip the monitor around or not, so it's upside down. It's got hair on me. So I don't know. Um, I suppose the first thing I need to do really is actually make sure it all works. So let's put 12 volts to it and see. If it works, obviously it didn't go back in the box very well. So what I'm thinking is if I, do I really need to, I suppose I should do it. I'll do it as if it's in situ. So that needs to go, the yellow needs to go into the camera, which it is. Don't know what that's for. I'm guessing a trigger wire of some sort or maybe Maybe you can run the power down down the thing. That that's much good for the video signal. I think you'd be better off getting your power from that. I don't know. I'm no expert on this. Let's plug that one in there. So now we'll have video through there, through the the lead, up here, and into the monitor. So now in theory, we just need some power to make it work. So I'm going to go and jump down into the passenger footwell and just splash it across the uh, leisure battery fuse board. I think that's going to be the easiest way just to test it's working. So I'll see you down there. Let's get this cover off. If you haven't seen the video of this little uh, fuse board install, there's uh, I'll leave a little card up there so you can look back at that and just strip this cable. So black obviously goes to ground, red to the positive. So I'm only, all I'm going to do, uh, no I will just screw it in actually. I'm only testing this so this isn't the actual install. So we've got ground there for the monitor, we hope. Right let's bring this down. Right, what can you see? Let me move that to there. Right, let's see what happens when we put our positive. I'm just going to dab it on the thing. What happened there? Did anything happen? There's nothing happening. 
Oh yeah, oh hang on. It does sort of change. Okay, right, let's try putting power to the camera. Again, I have no idea how these work. I'm just figuring it out. And I've just got the camera on so you can watch, basically. So let's put ground to the camera. Basically, I don't know if you need a, like a, whether it needs feedback from the camera, I don't know. No idea. Right, let's try that. Is it going to reach? Let's just spread it a little bit more. Right, now try. Aha, yes. Um, how bright. Uh, where are you? Okay, you can see yourself. But that is an awful image, though. Let's try it outside. Is the right way up? That's the right way up. Yeah, it seems to be in like negative. There's a bongo over there. So I'll have a little look at that. Some play. Right, I'm afraid we're not off to a great start. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not getting a regular picture. Uh, I have. I'll just wrap that around there. But I've, I know this camera works, and it's a good one. Um, so I've plugged, uh, which one is it, I've plugged that in, given it power, what happened there, hang on, what's going on, but basically, I don't know if it's a dodgy lead or something, um, I think it's the monitor, because you can't really see the uh, the lines that are sort of imprinted on them, so I'm going to give the seller a call on, on eBay and see what they reckon. Because uh, I've had one of these before, like I mentioned, and it was absolutely fine; it was perfect. So I'm going to um, reach out to them and see what they say. Because I've checked all the connections, I've checked all the like. If you look at the display there, like I'm in the menu, all of that's not working right so it, it looks to me like it's definitely the display rather than the cameras or the wiring because you can you can see that there's like a oh that doesn't help you can see that there's like a blur on the screen like stripes so it must be knackered i'll um i'll give them a ring and i'll update you so just to prove to myself more than anything um that it is the monitor well, basically, I just want to test the camera. Uh, this is getting changed, so hence the surround being off. It's just here. Um, right, what I'm going to do is turn this on. This lead um, was sat in the glove box. Uh, it's all plugged in in the back, so I was going to run a reverse camera because I thought I've got one, but I just don't really need one, so I've never actually plugged into it. But I'm going to plug that in there, oh hang on, I need the power adapter as well, one second, ah, I'm back, so yeah, plug that in there, oh it's freezing today, um, and then, as always with this channel, I'm just going to jam the wires in the cigarette lighter for 12 volts, um, there's the camera, so if I go onto here, that'll do it, AV in. Okay, so nothing at the minute. We'll push, don't do this. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm going to push that onto the middle. And then I'm going to push that on the outside. Ooh. There you go. Perfect picture. Uh, Oh yeah, the ground is coming through that. Um, so you don't actually need a ground. 
I'll ground it there. Yeah, it makes a difference. Um, but yeah, there's you. That's a lot better picture. So I'm convinced it's that monitor that's faulty. So back to the drawing board. Right, so I have to check it in the Mazda, yeah, the MX-5, sorry. I know that that works. So what I'm gonna do is I've gone and got a little bit of copper um, cable and to eliminate, so I know the camera works, to eliminate the cable that it was running through, I need to sort of bypass it. So where are we? Sorry, I've got too much going on here. So this, oh, that was like the, the long lead that goes to the back. So in order to see if it's that that's the problem, I'm gonna take that out, but it means I can't, I've got two female ends. So what I'm gonna do, don't shoot me down in the comments. I'm just gonna put a little bit of copper in the middle because all these are is just a, like a positive negative sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna like connect the middle two like that push them in and then ground the two outsides like that. So I've got power to the monitor. I've got power to this camera. I'm going to link the middle two and then ground itself. There we go. So you can see that on the camera. We've got exactly the same. I'm pretty convinced the monitor isn't knackered because yeah, it's just the same picture. So I'm gonna speak to the speak to Matey, see what he says. Alright, so actually I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that a day and we will make this the video of what can happen if you order cheap stuff on eBay. Maybe pay a little bit extra um, and get the good stuff. But it might be just a one-off. I have had one of these before on a previous car, my old Shogun, and it worked just fine. So, it might just be a one-off. I'm going to give you a chance, give the seller a chance, see what he says, um, to fix it, basically. But, hopefully there'll be a part two to this video where we actually do the install on the Bongo. Um, we'll see, see how we get on. Um, what I might do is pre wire because I'm going to swap the head units. I'm going to put this old Alpine DVD thing in the MX5. I'm going to take the Android one out of the MX5 and put it in the Bongo because I don't really need it in the MX5, but it'd be a lot more handy in here. So I'll probably do that. Um, and then we can run a camera to the to that Android unit if needed as well. But um, I don't know. So subscribe um, so you can see part two when we actually do the install. Give the video a like or a dislike, up to you. Um, yeah, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.